Tonight, we begin with heavy hearts. Earlier this week, a plane crashed just outside of Red Wing in Bay City, Wisconsin. It left two Rochester men dead, two young men. One of the victims was just 20 years old, Ethan Smith, a graduate of Lourdes High School. He graduated in 2020. All tonight, we are joined by ABC6 News reporter Maisie Olson at Lourdes High School, and who spoke with coaches and friends of Ethan to share how he meant so much to so many people. Maisie. James, Laura, it's stories like this that are the most difficult to talk about, but the most important to share. Ethan's friends describe him as funny, hardworking, and the type of friend that would put himself before everyone else. They said this has been a very difficult week, and they're still in shock over what happened. Every, everyone that I've reached out to have checked on a lot of his friends here over the last couple days. They're all hurting, hurting really bad, as you know we all are. It's hurt a lot for his parents um, but yeah those those boys are all hurting and they're really gonna miss him and it's tough conversations to have. Joe Knipke was Ethan's hockey coach at Lord High School. He's just one of many who are grieving the loss of Ethan after that tragic plane crash on September 6th. I woke up I had a text from my dad and he's like hey there's a plane that crashed um, left Rochester check in on Ethan see you see how he's doing, that kind of stuff, see if he was in the plane. Jared Anderson has been friends with Ethan for years. He says Ethan was like a younger brother to him. He was goofy. He would always make you smile. Just the way he walked up to you and he'd make some comment or something, you just laugh. It's just, I don't know, it's what you did. Ethan Smith loved to fly, and many say it was his whole life all he ever wanted to do. A student at Rochester Community and Technical College, Ethan was working towards his commercial pilot's license, flying one to three times a day. A hardworking and caring person. Everybody has just had nothing but such remarkable, positive things to say about this individual, which is why it makes it such a, a tragic incident. Yeah, it's just shock more than anything. I don't, I don't really know what to say. I still don't know what to say. Ethan was an athlete and beloved by many coaches, playing hockey, track and field, and more. His hockey jersey number was 16, and now the school is hoping to retire his number in memory of Ethan. That's what I keep thinking about is his family, his brother, um, how bad they're hurting, and I just can't say sorry enough. Now tonight at the Lord High School football game at RCTC at 7 o'clock, there will be a moment of silence to remember Ethan and recognize this time of grieving in our community. Now our hearts here at ABC6 News go out to the loved ones of Ethan Smith as well as John Zeman who also died in the crash. Back to you James and Laura.